I'm gonna be doing a summer glass skin inspired type of look because before I did it, I pretty much had a full face of makeup on for you guys. Today, I wanted to do zero foundation because my skin has cleared up a lot, which I do have a skincare video coming up really soon. I'm gonna try to film that one at Ipsy if I can. Uh, this video is um, also sponsored by IC hair i'm wearing their wig right now so i'm gonna apply the wig first to my head before i actually get into this video so it's gonna be a full-on get ready with me and i wanted to do a very natural glossy summer look especially since i'll be taking instagram pictures today i wanted to try this out and see how i would like it okay guys so some of you asked in my last video about the knots being bleach and these are what the knots look like they're kind of black looking on the lace we'll just be bleaching those specifically the lace itself doesn't really get tinted or anything you'll have to have a separate lace tint for that they've already seen me do this already so i'm gonna just go straight to the process where i pluck the hairs in the front so i'm just going in with my tweezers as you can see there's a little shade of brown on the lace because i just bleached the knots and I'm going in and I'm brushing all the hairs out once I pluck. And I just did this for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. The last thing I do to prep the wig is cut the baby hairs and also sew in the elastic band. I went ahead and I sewed in the elastic band off camera, so I didn't really show that, but I've showed you guys this before. Now I'm gonna apply this unit to my head. This is a 22 inch straight hair wig. Lace front, it's also got lace in the back. I've already sewn an elastic band in here and I bleached the knots. Now you guys have seen me do this process also so many times, but I'm going in with my got to be glued free spray. I'm just kind of putting that on my forehead a bit. Don't worry, I'm going to be wiping off the excess in a second, but I'm just kind of placing the wig on my head where I want it to stay. I'm using a rat tail comb just to put everything in place and also melt the lace onto my forehead. And this is just me wiping off the excess of the product with my makeup wipes. And last, I'm gonna go in with my Got To Be Glued hair gel and lay the baby hairs. Okay, so I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and if I feel any stickiness around my head, I'm just gonna kind of take some off, spray down the top some because it's kind of lifting up just a little bit. I already washed this hair also. Like you can see the ends are not like super straight or anything. So I'm gonna put a hair oil in it um, before I start. I wanna also say like the lace is very, very thin, which I personally love. I hate it when my lace is slightly thick and hard to work with. It was super easy for me to bleach the knots and the hair quality is very good. I'm gonna put the link to this wig down below. Again, this is a 22 inch straight hair unit. I'm gonna not do my entire skincare regimen just because I'm gonna do that in a different video. Washed my face, applied my essence. Also, I'm seeing on camera, my dark circles have gotten so much better because I've been using my coffee bean eye cream by Beauty by Earth. And I've been using this every single morning and night. So, so my dark circles have improved so much um, I just freshly washed my face as well. I'm gonna be talking throughout this video, so if it's annoying, it's annoying. <laughs> um, okay, next thing I'm gonna be using, um, I actually went to a Trachtenberg & Co event the other day, and they had a bunch of Korean brands there, so I got two Korean products. One is by Solwasu, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's an activating serum, and it's uh, got gentle blossom in it. Yeah, it's just this first care activating serum. So they actually took my aura, like they took a picture of my aura. They had a little booth there, and mine was mostly green and yellow, which I guess means happiness or something like that. They were able to kind of choose my serum based off of my aura, and she let me try out a few of them. This one was actually her first choice whenever she looked at my aura, and I loved it instantly, so I'm gonna be using this one for my skin. It's not sponsored, I just got it at the event and I've been using it for the past couple days. 
This is a part of how I get my glow. A lot of y'all were pointing out too, or even like people in my life, they were watching my last video whenever I was at uh, Ipsy. And on camera, like my skin already looked nice and glowy and hydrated. And honestly, like that was after me just on a regular day applying my moisturizer and stuff. Yeah, I go in with my serum. I usually go in with my vitamin C ampoule, but I like to use that at night more so. And I'm trying to save my products, so I'm gonna not use that right now. I'm gonna go straight into my higher education double major moisture relief gel. I'm pretty sure this is a Korean product. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up and let you guys know on the screen if it is or not, but it is super hydrating. It feels so good. And I think a lot of Korean products have this certain smell to it. It doesn't smell very fragrant. It just has like a nice medicinal or medical grade smell. Look how glowy my skin looks after using this. It almost reminds me of the green tea seed in this free moisture serum that I used to wear. I finished it already, of course, but I loved that stuff and I'm so happy that I got this now to replace it because it's really good. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my Dr. Dewey Mandelic Acid Essence. Um, I love using this stuff before makeup. It's one of my favorite things to use. It helps to shrink your pores, all that good stuff. I just use around three drops, rub it together in my hands, and then I just press it into my skin. It's so weird too, like now that I've been really um, into my skincare, I feel like I look a lot younger than before. Like I'm going back, <laughs> backwards in age. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm 27 years old. So you know, we're, we're getting up there. So I'm gonna go in with my No Pore Blum Smooth and Pore Covering Primer. I'm gonna buy a new one once I'm in Japan because they are way cheaper there. They're selling them here for like $18 at Sephora and like Ulta and stuff. And I'm just like, but I bought mine for eight. <laughs> so I'd rather just um, buy it there. I'm also getting ready to do some TikTok videos. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, it is at Tima Loves Makeup. So go ahead and follow me there. I'm gonna also put my download code on there if you guys wanna go ahead and try TikTok out. I'll put my downloadable code in my description as well so y'all can see me do more makeup videos. Check me out on TikTok. And I do one extra step for my primer. I either use my Professional Primer by Benefit or Style Nanda Pore Silky Balm. I feel like this one is 30 and this one is 18, so this is probably the best option. Mm, I'll go in with the Pore Silky Balm for today because there's actually a lot of product in here. This will last you such a long time. I just put it onto my T-zone. It might seem like I'm getting rid of the shine that I have going on, but I'm literally just filling in my pores. I'm also not going to use any concealer today at all. I usually go in and spot treat with it under my eyes. I want to see what I look like without it and to see if I can pull it off. Now that I've gone with my primer, I'm going to use the Flash Illuminator by the Estee Edit and put this all over my face. I hope it looks good. I haven't really tried this like that. Oh yeah, this definitely looks good. Also put some color back into my skin. But it's not like a foundation, if that makes sense. Like this is not covering any of my dark spots. It's literally just giving me a nice glow. It's very pretty. And I didn't even use that much. I just used a little bit, so. Also a good thing about this product is that it doesn't make your skin feel oily or like sticky. It just feels nice and matte still even though it has a nice shine to it i've had this for two years and this is like my first time actually using it for what i need to use it for <laughs> go in with is my glossier concealer i'm gonna just put some on my neck because i have a few spots here that i want to get rid of that are sometimes a little bit distracting for me i'm sure no one else really notices it but i personally do i don't think i even need to touch my face with this that much because i want to do freckles today and sometimes my hyperpigmentation acts as freckles. And that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna also do a little bit of contouring with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. It's gonna go on my nose right here. Just feels really good not to have any foundation on my face. Like y'all don't even know. I mean, I'm sure that you do know, but it just feels really nice. I'm gonna also put some along my jawline just to chisel that out a bit. Not that I really need to do too much of that, but I just love these matchsticks and I don't really use them nearly enough as I should. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna kind of skip around a bit. I'm gonna go straight into my brows because they're looking a little bit crazy. I'm going with the M Cosmetics. This is their Ebony Brow Cream, and this stuff is amazing. My brows are looking like yikes right now, so I hope I can fix them. Let me see if I can clean them up just a little bit on camera for y'all because they're just always so unruly. Look at that, just a mess. <laughs> Like I love an unruly brow, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just gotta clean them up just a little bit. I just go in with my scissors and that's how I do it, guys. And the reason why I haven't done a brow video on my channel is because I'm not good at my brows. So I just deal with them. Like I just basically tolerate my brows. I'm thankful to have them, don't get me wrong. But luckily after getting microblading though, I know how to shape them the way I want. I used to hate arches on me. I always used to do a straight brow and that does not look good for my face shape necessarily. And I learned that an arch does. They're, they're okay, <laughs> they're fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with this um, from M Cosmetics. I'm gonna just go in lightly, brush. Gives me that nice bushy brow that I that I've always had. <laughs> okay, and then now I'm gonna gonna stay on my eyes right now. Honestly, I usually go for these two different palettes. This one I got in a magazine in Japan last year and it's by the brand Snydel. And this one is by Charlotte Tilbury. And then these have like two different shades that I like to use. So I usually go for this dark bronzy shade here for all over my lid. And I also go for a lighter bronzy shade that I usually love to use. And this has more of a sparkle to it. Yeah, y'all know that I've hit paint on this one. So I'm gonna go in with these two shades and go for it. Prides of the quality in this because I got this for free in the magazine, so um, I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. You know, I'm not doing any liner today, I'm not doing any, I am doing mascara, but I'm doing a no liner look. I'm just gonna kinda I'll smoke this out just a little bit. I'm gonna go in the center of my lid with this other bronzy sparkly shade, just to give it more of a sparkle to it. I'm actually just gonna kinda put it all over my lid as well. I like to use my fingers because everything is faster that way. Now that I'm this close to the camera, I'm gonna be going in with my Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. Love this mascara, by the way. It's a fiber mascara, so it just adds in more fibers to your lashes. Um, I don't really like wearing falsies that often, so it just really brings out your lashes like crazy. I was actually gonna do falsies for this makeup look, but I decided against it. <laughs> then for my bottom lashes, I have this Japanese mascara that I got in Japan. It's got a very thin brush here, and it just helps to really bring them out. Alrighty, so my lashes and brows are done. Interesting thing enough, I didn't have to put any powder on just yet, but I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna kind of put this on my T-zone right here because it's just kind of um, oily. Freckles or should I do my highlighter first? I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier and topaz. I'm probably gonna use two different highlighters depending on how I like this natural look. It's a lot easier to use this one because I don't have any uh, foundation on my face. Very natural. Just give myself that like, oh, I've been sweating all day, but not that much type of look. Uh, 
So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty in cinnamon. I'm gonna lightly push that into my skin. Okay, now I'm gonna go in straight to my lips, which is kind of weird, but I'm tired of seeing my lips be bare like this. I'm almost out of this e.l.f. Lip pencils, I have to buy a new one online because they don't sell them in stores. Anastasia one that I barely ever use. I'm just gonna lightly press this into my lips. Barely any of it. This is beautiful. I'm also gonna use my Pat McGrath and Flesh 4 over it. Hopefully it doesn't diminish the color. This combination. I'm gonna go in with my translucent powder, more so in my T-zone. It has no color to it, so it's not gonna change any color to my face at all, really. I'm trying to keep this glow going on here, though. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my freckles. I'm gonna use my Miniso pen in Kissing Velvet. It's like a lip stain slash lip liner. But the funny thing is it just goes on like faux freckles on me. And it almost looks more so dark brown. And it was only $2 at, at Miniso. Hence is why I like it. Why well, I really did no foundation, like in no concealer today. Like all my dark spots, I'm shook. Okay, I put some blush on off camera because I made a TikTok video using my blush. Again, my TikTok is at Tima Loves Makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more freckles over what I just did because they kind of disappeared after putting on the blush. If you wanna go extra, you guys, like if y'all wanna have that glow glow <laughs> without using any other product or without using any makeup or anything, um, you can go in with a cheek gloss. This is my cheek gloss by Flesh Beauty. You can buy this at Ulta. So just the tiniest amount. Just gonna put that over. I probably didn't even need that, honestly. Okay, so we look nice and glowy. Look at that. Wow, we look super glowy right now. So I have this, I have this body illuminator by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna try putting some of it on my arms so y'all can see how that looks. But this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to put this on my arms. Mostly on my shoulders. I didn't have to go and close the door. Imagine you without me shakes me to the core. Super illuminated. That's it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna take some extra clips of course in the sunlight over here but my face is looking super dewy and just very glowy and highlighted i freaking love this but this is how i want to look in the summertime especially with wearing no foundation okay time for pictures i hope that you guys like this makeup look and also be sure to check out icy hair where i got this wig from i'm gonna put a little bit of my hair oil onto my ends really quick so let me just zoom out so y'all can see Kind of putting it towards the end because this is already straight hair. It's gonna kind of smooth down this and then I'll show y'all what the hair looks like. And that's what it looks like. Alright, so I'm gonna go take pictures now. Talk to you guys later and bye!